Hi everyone, this is Gloria from stampwithgloria.com. Today I'm going to show you some cards I made for my June club. I have um, a mail club, a mail order club, where uh, they get four different cards every month and I'm starting the new club for this year. So if you're interested, please email me or contact me at stampwithgloria.com and I can tell you more information about the club. But basically you get a set and you get it neither wood or clear if it's available. And then I make four cards and I send you all of the materials to make the cards. And of course I assume you have the stamp pads, etc. so forth. And um, this month I'm doing guy greetings and I made four cards and I wanted to highlight our new um, in colors. So um, I'm gonna use guy greetings and calling all heroes and let me show you the cards. Um, I kind of I did some kind of different ones and I used the Bohemian the new Bohemian um, DSP in the catalog I thought that was some pretty cool colors it just kind of all tied in with our new in colors and the new in colors that we have are tip top taupe delightfully Dijon watermelon wonder mint macaroon and cucumber crush I hope I said those all correctly to me it sounds like we're going to a southern picnic because it's it just is all of those great foods and yummy things that I think of when I think south, south and southern and picnics and fun stuff like that um, so I made kind of three more traditional cards especially with Father's Day coming up I thought it would be kind of fun and then I made kind of a different card I made this one I call it Gotham City and actually the inspiration for this card came from Michelle Zindorf she did one similar to this a little bit different but similar and um, I really wanted the card to pop and I wanted it to look more like an airbrush technique um, just like you would see like in a cartoon and I think it turned out pretty cool so I'm going to teach you how to make this card right here and the other cards all of the product list and dimensions and everything will be on stampwithgloria.com so you can go there to take a look at that and recreate these cards if you feel like it. So um, how do we do this? Well it's kind of fun. Um, first we're going to stamp our car and I've done that already just to save some time because I did do a little coloring in. I used the soft sky in the windows to make it look like glass. The car itself is colored with um, a basic gray marker and then um, the delightfully the delightful Dijon I use for the license plate and then I did blacken in some areas you can see some of the areas are blackened in here just to make it pop a little bit more and I used the um, journaling pens from the project life set so um, that's how I did that I stamped it with a memento pad so it's a permanent pad so I think it turned out real well but when we do a background card like this and Michelle Zindorf is the expert on this I took a class from her a while ago and she showed me how to, to do this and um, I just got a little different spin on it than she does she uses a she uses a versamark, a versamark marker and I actually want to stick with stamping up products and we don't have the marker anymore so I actually use a little paint cell and then I use the reinker for the Versamark pad and then I use an old um, bead up blender pen and then I use that kind of like a paintbrush so you want to brush that off a little bit and then you're going to color your card and you want to make the ink um, on the card as smooth as possible if you get like puddles of ink on the card when you emboss it then the embossing powder will be really thick in that area and so you want to kind of avoid that so make sure you're just really um, putting it on kind of smooth and evening it out and pulling the color um, so that it's ra rather thin and I know you can't see from the camera but I can see from the way the light is reflecting if I'm catching the areas that I want to emboss and you want to be pretty particular about this because any parts that you emboss that go outside of the card will show up white like here I've got on this card I got you know a little white there and a little white there that's because I embossed that I had this um, fluid 
um, pulled out just a little too far. So you want to just be a little careful about that. Then I, um, once I've got it all colored in, I'm going to take clear embossing powder and just tap that on. And I'll just tap it right on, cover up the whole car, and then I'm always too lazy to actually get another tray to put this embossing powder in. So I'm going to go like this. And you can see, you know, whether you got um, all of the embossing food where you wanted, or wanted it or not because it's going to be pretty fuzzy on the card. So I see I missed a little spot. So there you go. It's all on there. I'm going to just flick it a little bit because I want to make sure that, you know, none of the outside of the card is... Um, um, has clear embossing um, on it so that we can go ahead and emboss that with the heat gun and you're gonna see it's gonna become real vibrant and dark and pretty looking so let's just get that going here and anytime there we go So I Skype with my daughter pretty often because she does all of she does all the posting for my blog and she gets my directions together and um, I pay her to do that. <laughs> it's nice to help out your daughter, right? So I showed her this um, card. She goes, "It looks like Gotham City," and I'm like, "That's cool. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like." And she said, "You know, Mom, about 90% of your um, viewers will not know." <laughs> where Gotham City is. So evidently, if you're past the age of 50, you're antiquated, and we never looked at comic books, and we wouldn't have a clue who, what Gotham City or Batman or any of that is about. So I just wanted to warn you, you know, if you make this card, you, you know, it, that would be a really cool thing because, you know, it's something you haven't been subjected to before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I've embossed the card and now I can just ink over it and the car is going to stay just pristine, just like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our brayer and I'm going to start out with the first color, it's cucumber, and I'm going to just ink this up. Now when you're inking up a brayer, you don't want to just go back and forth because you won't get the whole circumference of the brayer, so you need to lift it a couple of times and then ink it. I'm going to start off the paper and I'm just going to bring that grass right up underneath the card. I'm going to go back and forth a little bit. Um, I want to, I love having this stuff in it because it does remind me of comic books. So I, I like that look. So we're going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to take the mint macaroon because we want some, um, we, we want some depth in the card. So you achieve that by putting in more than one color. So I'm going to hang out there and I'm going to pull that color in. I'm going to pull it up into the horizon just a little bit. Don't worry about how straight that line is. That's going to go away in a little bit and it'll be perfectly fine. If you get ink on the card, just wipe it off because it's embossed. It's not going to stick. The ink's not going to stick to the card. Okay, so then um, I decided we're going to do a sunset, sunrise, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to use the Watermelon Wonder, and I'm going to blend that into the card here. And I started a little bit higher because I didn't want to go into the green a ton, just a little bit. And again, do not worry about this sharp line right here because it's not going to make a difference in a couple of minutes. So I'm just rolling the ink off there and then we're going to use the delightful Dijon and I'm going to ink that up and it's still the brayer has a little bit of red which is cool because that'll blend right into the picture just it's you know I wanted it I wanted to do it that way so we're going to do a little bit more Dijon whoop, and give the skyline kind of a cool look okay so now we've got the different colors going don't worry that there's there's lines there um, because we're going to make that all better in just a second. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put a sunset in here before I, before I go on. So what I'm going to do is I took a one inch circle and then see you've got some cool stuff going on here. And I'm going to take the watermelon wonder and I'm going to just kind of soften that, that line there a little bit. Okay, so we soften that up a bit. Okay, made a mask basically. Then I want to intensify 
the um, the Dijon color. So I'm gonna really put that in there to intensify it. And then look, we've got a sunrise, sunset, whatever you want. Don't worry about the line. The line is not gonna make a difference in another minute or so. So then we're gonna take our memento pad and we're gonna ink up the skyline. And this set has a really cool um, kind of comic book feature, which I didn't use. I could have. I know in uh, Michelle's version of this, she did, and it looks pretty cool. I just decided to leave it out. But see all the dots there? If you put that behind the building, it looks pretty cool. So that's another option you can do. Um, but I didn't, so we're just going to go with that. So I'm going to go on that line that I made on the lighter green, and I'm just going to stamp right over the car and stamp nice and tight into the the skyline there good all right so now we got the first bit of the skyline going on and then we're going to match it up on the other side so i'm going to ink up my skyline again and i want to just i want to match it up but i got to match the buildings up so i'm going to just stand here and plop that in there and voila we have the skyline and yep the um, car is getting a bit dirty looking and um, that's okay you can either take a cloth and rub it off or I can just rub it off on the scrap paper here and whoops I'm gonna have to wipe it a little bit more there we go I always love to use fingers are perfect for stuff like this <laughs> Okay, so we've got the car just kind of popping out there exactly like I want it to. Then I'm going to take um, the Cucumber Crush and I'm going to create a bit of um, land here. You know, more like a road and then that's how we get rid of that line that is there. Okay, so we've got like, this could be a reflection off the lake, <laughs> you know, it can be just grass, it can be whatever you want it, but now we've got some grass going on, but I just don't like just the plain glass, grass, and if you're a graphic designer, you know that you do some really cool things with blending lots and lots of different colors. So I'm going to take tip top taupe, and we're going to put in some brown and give it more of a look like it's a road and we're driving somewhere. So that's my Gotham City card and I am using every single stamp pad in the new um, in colors for stamping up. I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, one more little detail I, I forgot um, to really make the buildings pop. We are going to put in light. So it's a twinkling light. So like I said, it can be either dawn or it can be sunset, you know, whatever you want it to be. But there's twinkling lights in all of the buildings and we're gonna use the signal um, white um, paint pen that we sell in the catalog. And we're just gonna go ahead and pop that into all the buildings, okay? Because we don't wanna see through the, um, through the windows. And let me show you this one and this one. And there you go. See, I made the sky a little bit more intense on this one, um, but both of them look pretty cool. I really enjoy doing this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please go to stampwithgloria.com or gloriahelmbreck at stampingup.net and order everything I just showed you. These new in colors are wonderful. I love, like, the dirty kind of, I love this Dijon color because you know when you um, when you uh, daub it on the sides and the edge and you sponge it and stuff, it reminds me of like uh, the tea dyed cloth that you know we used to do to get that kind of um, retro look, that vintage look. I just love all of it. And this new bohemian paper that goes with this, it's just, it's just the pop of blue is perfect. So I really love the colors this year. If you have any questions, please email me at um, stampwithgloria.com and you have a great day. Thank you, bye.